Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining. Today I'm going to replace the battery in my Reactor Atom watch. And I've replaced the battery in another Reactor watch that I own, the Reactor Photon. And that's this watch right here. And I, I love Reactor watches. They're just fantastic. They're super heavy duty. They're made in Agoura Hills, California. And uh, sadly, they're <laughs> because it was so expensive to manufacture them, they're actually kind of kind of shutting down at the end of I think this year. Uh, but in any event, if you can if you can grab a photon or rather a a, a reactor watch, it, you won't be sorry. They're just super heavy duty. They you know they're they're they call them bulletproof watches, and there was even a video online where it shows them shooting the back of a watch with a bullet. Just how strong is a reactor case back? Recent testing showed they will stop a bullet. The stamped case back didn't fare so well. And it, it, it did just fine. Also, I mean, here's another difference between this and other watches. The, instead of spring bars holding down the, the um, you know, between the case and the band, they use screw down bars to really have a secure, secure hold, you know, hold for the, uh, for the band. So it's not going to, it's not going to come off in an inopportune time. Also, they're super bright when you, when you come out of the light and go into the dark because of the super luminova loom. And it's, you know, it, it, it's super bright when you first go into the dark. Of course, you know, it's, it's not tritium, so it doesn't last forever, but they are, they do have some reactor watches that have a combination of the Super Luminova, and they also have some Tritium. And those were the ND Never Dark watches, which they had, you know, they had the different models, that were, which also some were, of which were Never Dark. This is the regular Super Luminova Loom. So, in any event, let's get started. Let's replace the battery on this watch. And the first thing I'm going to do is kind of expand the the watch band by taking it off so make it a lot easier and then I've got a little watch holder and to make sure it doesn't scratch I'm just going to take an old an old rag and stick it in there. Don't want to put it too tight. And these these watch backs are really easy to unscrew. Instead of just little tiny notches, they have you know rather large notches to really make it easy to you know use whichever type of watch back remover you have. So, I kind of pre-adjusted this before, so it should come off fairly easy. I'll use this one to finish it up. And there's the inside. And the battery this takes, uh, the, there are t the, the Reactor Atom watches have two different watch movements. There's a Japanese movement, and that's what this one is. They also have a Swiss movement. And the two movements, the two quartz movements, use different batteries. The Japanese movement uses the SR626, also known as a 377. I think it's also known as an AG4. So we'll... Start by taking this this battery out. So there's a little screw holding down the edge of the battery. So I'm going to unscrew that.
and putting in the new battery. Got to kind of lift up this side to make sure you put the battery under that little retainer. Then, wow, this screw is tiny. <gasps> almost, almost lost it. Okay, so you probably saw that tiny, tiny little screw that was in my tweezers just fly out of sight. And it went on the carpet, and I never, ever thought I would find that. I mean, obviously, you know, this is blown up in the video, but that is tiny, tiny, tiny. I never thought I would find it, but I did. And it took me a while off camera to get it back into where it's at. And now I'm going to finish screwing it in. But that was no easy feat. So this was no easy task. You have to make sure, once you put the battery in, that this arm is underneath the screw because the screw isn't in a hole at the end of the arm. The arm kind of fits under the screw and then you've got to screw that screw down and to keep the battery retained in there. Finally done. So before I put the back cover on, just want to make sure this is working. And thankfully it is. So, time to put the back cover back on. And Taking a look at it, the O-ring is still on it and still in good shape. So I'm just going to put this back on here. And I'll use this to screw it down. And I am definitely not <laughs> going diving with this watch. So, I'm not going to crank it down horribly. I'm just going to make it firm. And that's good enough for me because, again, I'm not going underwater with it. And that is it. Not the easiest battery to replace because of the uh, because of that tiny retainer screw, but again, it was uh, <laughs> I was able to do it. Lastly, I'm just going to put the this spring clip back in, and although the screw down band uh, clips are there, the screw bars rather. There are little spring bars here to keep this part of them.
Done. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already done so, please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Take care.